All right, hey there, my turtle and Pisces. You hear that noise? Yep, we've got an issue. Okay, so I know it's been a while since we've uh, touched base on any videos about the RV, but really there was nothing to report. We've been stationary um, up in the mountains in Napa. Um, we did let you know when we bought our 2021 debtless atlas with a buck bunkhouse um and we've been stationary all has been pretty well we had some warranty issues um some minor things one pretty big thing the minor things uh the door to the bathroom has just peeled away um the stove and the oven all of the numbers and everything on the um, knobs has worn off so I have no idea what temperature I'm putting things on um, and they get hot to touch so that's an issue and the um, oven and stove it doesn't sit level also the refrigerator does not have a drain plug which that's been fun um, the biggest part for the warranty work that we initially scheduled though was the one the one AC um, it started rattling and we got up there and looked and it looks like the ball bearings went bad in it so luckily um we called and the earliest they had available to get us in for service was four months so that was four months ago um which wasn't a big deal as far as not wearing uh, running the ac because it was cooler out so we were doing heat anyway but last night we hooked the rv up uh, to the truck so we could leave out early in the morning went to put in slide one no problem slide two no problem slide three no problem side four houston we got a problem yeah um the guys are in there trying to work hard to get it in and of course we call the the helpline and they they said oh well just go ahead and um, do a manual override and push it in which we were doing and see this this is what happened due to that you know they didn't bother to say you know troubleshoot anything else all right so you see this popped right out we um, did a lot a little troubleshooting determined that the floor underneath the um, the couch has buckled um, so it's not getting up over the lip sorry a little stressed out um, up the lip to bring the slide in and um, you know we're just beside ourselves because you know we've got this appointment that took four months to get in and we're going to miss the appointment now and then on top of that we can't get down the mountain you know we're 45 minutes into town lots of switchbacks um we can't drive with the slide out in order to get it in um so yeah little little challenging a little emotional right now the guys are working really hard but yeah um stay tuned not sure what's going to come of this and then because of it see this this is bent forward because it's got so much tension on it because it couldn't go anywhere um yeah so that's gonna have to be fixed as well that's why it's bending because it's not going Fuck tech support i'm tech support Can you see that? You can see where where they're working at and you can see where it goes down. Um, yeah. It's just that one small little area, but it's enough for it to not go up over the lip of it. And until we get that up, the slide is not coming in. Try to make sure that it's, I can see outside all the way. You're gonna need to put this side back down. We know as soon as we can. It's just a little piece right here. I think that has to come above it. Yeah. So here's the. Oh. Want you work. So look. So it's just completely. 
peeled off of it, which you know, they can't tell me it's wear and tear because this is crazy. It shouldn't be doing this. rubbed off like right away and then the stone and so sometimes when I'm cooking it'll there we go see like look watch see that this is like the overflow thing yeah I know it looks nasty um I'm stuck. so that's the overflow thing and it doesn't have a hose to go outside so it drains into the bottom of the refrigerator and I'm constantly having to put a towel down here um, to sop it all up because it ends up out on the floor and I don't want damage. You know, it's crazy because we always heard the horror stories about buying from Camping World and buying new. Um, but you know, it's just like a house. You have good things with buying a new house. You have good things with buying a used house. And then you can also have bad things with both. Um, and we've experienced that before going with a, a lived-in house that wasn't newly built um as well as a new house that was built we had air issues too so you know when we were doing our research trying to find what we wanted this ended up having the floor plan that we liked the most um and so we went ahead and went with it but you know this is the first time we're going to be bringing in the slide all right so we called good sam they ended up sending out a RV mechanic. He was able to get it in, but you obviously see all the damage that's done to it. Now we are off to go drop it off at Camper, Camper World. All right, this doesn't look like it will go flush. All right, quick update. Good Sam got the mobile RV out. They were able to get the slide in three hours. It's going to cost us a little over $380 just for them to come out and get it all in. Now we are headed to drop it off at uh, the service center. All right, y'all, we finally made it to Camping World. Our appointment originally was for 10 a.m. We got here at 4 o'clock. Luckily, because I called, um, they did go ahead and fit us in because they know we've been um, waiting months and months and months to get in for this appointment. Um, let's see. Oh, a couple more things happened. So when we were doing the, um, the walkthrough, not the walkthrough, but walk around to take a look at everything, Aaron noticed that the main awning is separating from the RV. So we have to put that on as well. And now, now we can't unhitch it from the truck. Oh my gosh. I just... This is one frustrating day. I'm just, I'm, I'm over the whole thing. I really am. Oh, and did I mention it's five minutes until closing? The very sweet lady that's been uh, taking all our information just ran in to see if she can get someone out to help us to detach. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> 